Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In today's video we'll continue our discovery of KDE and I'd like to talk about some of the default KDE applications and my impressions on them. Let's take a tour. Dolphin. Dolphin is KDE's file manager. It is probably the most featureful file manager I've ever used but it still manages to look pretty nice. By default there is no menu bar, only the classic toolbar, sidebar and main panel combo. The default view is actually pretty simple and legible with big icons, a few buttons on the toolbar and a zoom slider in the bottom which resizes icons in a very nice way. Click the control button and you get a glimpse of the options there. For example, there are three more panels you can activate here, a folder list, a preview pane and even a console. This is how Dolphin looks with everything enabled. That's a pretty different beast, isn't it? Then there are the preferences. You can tweak sorting modes, replace icons with previews for any type of file, choose if you want to get confirmation pop-ups for actions such as emptying the trash can. You can set the startup folder when you open Dolphin, tweak every view mode's defaults, select which services you want to enable in the right-click menu and even configure the behavior of the trash. This is a lot to dig into but the theme here is clear. Dolphin is very simple and beautiful by default but can be tweaked to work exactly like you want it to. But then again, that's kind of the main selling point of KDE. Discover. Discover is KDE's default package manager, or app store if you prefer. I can't say I really like it all that much. In the looks department, I felt it was a bit bare bones with an icon, a title and an install button for each app. It also handles updates and presents each package as a separate update, which some people may like, but I personally prefer the way Elementary OS does things, grouping the updates by applications or system and giving you the option to look at the detail. Discover does separate packages between applications, application add-ons and Plasma add-ons, which makes it easier to filter what you'd like to install. Unfortunately, just like in the App Center on Elementary OS, it does not provide a graphical interface to install system packages. The settings allow you to choose which sources you want to enable, which is a great plus, as well as add backends such as Snap or Flatpak directly to the app, which I found pretty awesome and I would love to see that in the App Center on Elementary OS as well. All in all, Discover works alright, installs fast, gives you the details you need, but aesthetically I found it lacked the polish I started to expect from KDE. Console I don't use the terminal that often, but when I do I like it to look pretty and work flawlessly. Console, by default, is perfectly suitable, but then again it does look like a terminal. The font is very small by default, the pure black background and green prompt are a bit too 90s for me, and create a pretty harsh contrast with the grey menu bar. It does look dated by default. Obviously, as with all KDE apps, you can pretty much customize the profile to look like whatever you want. I switched to the Solarized theme immediately and increased the font size and I got something much nicer to work with. Of course, everything is configurable here. With tab support, profile management and full customization for each profile, tab bar configuration with the ability to always show it, hide it by default, place it above or below the terminal area. You can even choose where to open new tabs at the start or the end of the tab row. Once again, it's a simple app on the surface with pretty powerful customization options to improve your workflows. I just wish the defaults were a bit prettier, but you can change them to anything you like, so it's not a big deal. Console continues the theme of configurable and powerful apps that you can adapt to your workflow, but you have to take the extra step to make it work as you want. System Monitor I always use a system monitor on my systems, whether it's for measuring performance, killing a rogue process, or simply to look at pretty charts ticking up and down as my processor ramps up. It's one of the things I dislike on elementary OS, they do not ship a system monitor by default. KDE's monitor, called KSysGuard, is great. It looks good, allows you to change the default columns in the process view and has pretty graphics to show you where your systems load. If you want to, you can even create your own tabs and customize them to show certain data. You can even select the way it will be displayed. This is the most powerful system monitor I've ever used and I love it, even though it's overkill for what I use it for. OneView Gwenview is the default image viewer for KDE. It has been around since KDE 4 and it sort of shows its age. The look and feel isn't very modern, with a folder bar on the left, some tabs and buttons on the status bar that look a bit out of place and could be replaced with icons. It does the job pretty well with the ability to rotate, save pictures, browse folders and get your images metadata. It does have simple image editing capabilities such as red eye reduction, cropping, flipping, mirroring, etc. You can also install plugins, most notably for exporting to social media platforms. You can download them all in a single click from the plugins menu. All in all, Gwenview is a perfectly serviceable photo and library manager, but the interface does look a little bit dated. Other applications. That's about it for KDE Neon's defaults. 
You get a PDF viewer called Ocular, a screenshot tool, a simple text editor called Krite, and an archiving tool, but that's all, apart of course from the system settings app which I'll cover in a separate video. I was surprised at the lack of native KDE multimedia apps. No music player, no video player, Neon ships with VLC, and no native web browser since Neon ships with Firefox. In the KDE 4 days you had Dragon Player for video, Juke for music, and Conqueror for web browsing. But it seems these have been phased out as default applications, and KDE is currently lacking default apps in these departments, unless Neon decided to ship other applications instead, which would be weird since Neon is supposed to be THE KDE showcase distro. Did I miss something? Don't hesitate to let me know in the comments and call me an idiot, if that's what you think. Obviously you can install a lot of other KDE and Qt apps from Discovery, and I'll cover some of them in another video. To conclude, I am a big fan of some of the default KDE apps. Dolphin and the System Monitor are definitely awesome, but I find the other default apps a bit dated. The PDF Editor, Ocular, the Image Viewer, Gwenview, and the default Terminal, Console, all look a bit off by default, with weird column width, strange choices of controls such as buttons with text when an icon would have done the job much better. In general, default KDE apps seem like they were ported from the older KDE 4 system and they don't seem to have received a lot of attention in the ergonomics department. That's nothing that a few default tweaks here and there can fix. In general, I found the Plasma desktop very much a work of art. It's pretty polished, nicely animated, it looks good, it feels great to use, but the KDE applications that ship with it seem that they lag a bit behind. It looks like most of the efforts have been put on the Plasma desktop and not as much on the applications, but that's just me. So here are my impressions on the default KDE apps shipping with Neon. Please let me know if you know of great KDE apps. If I made a mistake by saying that there were no X or Y application by default for KDE and it's just that Neon doesn't ship it, don't hesitate to let me know, I'll cover them as well. Uh, I'll try some of your suggestions in a future video. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!